We're going to go to Vex U, the first match of the Vex U finals on the Northrop Grumman field. Let's get to that one. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of the Vex U divisional awards. And now it's time for the VEXU Finals. Like I said earlier, this is a rivalry right here. Two of the best robotics programs ever. These kids all started in VRC High School. Won world championships at that level in skills, in the main challenge. And now they've moved on to the next level. And they're taking VEXU to the next level. So I'm going to throw it to our VEXU announcer, Mr. George Chen. George, take it away on the Northrop Grumman Field. Thank you, Karthik. Welcome to the Vex U of Division and the Vex U Finals here on the Northrop Grumman Field. There are a few differences you might notice with our robots, and that is first, each team builds their ideal partner. Teams build two robots, one a 24-inch cube maximum size, and the second a 15-inch cube. Our autonomous programs are 45 seconds long, with the driver control period being only 75 seconds long. And now, let's meet the team, starting out with your Red Alliance, coming all the way from Auckland, New Zealand. They are the Auckland University Robotics Association, Aura! And over on the Blue Alliance, from Worcester, Massachusetts, it's Consigma Community College, QCC2. Our head referee, Rick, getting thumbs up around the field. Let's get this started in three, two, one, go. And we start off with our 45 seconds of autonomous. Both of these teams have shown to be incredible competitors, scoring high in the autonomous period. We see Aura stacking it up, getting those skyrise sections in place. One, two, three, four, like it's nothing. Over on the Blue Alliance side, you see the same thing happening by QCC2. Here comes a drop of three from Aura. Wow, incredible action. And remember, folks, this is all autonomous. The Blue Alliance stacking it up still. Both of them are going to max out their score on the sky rise solely in these 45 seconds. Up high go another set of three. Let's see if they can drop it down. Wow, seven cubes on red, seven on blue. And the Red Alliance will take the autonomous bonus. Drivers, three, two, one, go! Incredible activity already, but now it's time for human control. Aura with their two robots, Big Mac and McChicken, fighting it out in the corner. QCC2 blocking it out, trying to play defense against the scoring machine that is the Big Mac. Over on the Blue Alliance side, QCC2 and the Blue Rooster heading over to the Tall Goals, looking to drop them down, and they're trying to outcompete that Red Alliance team. 45 seconds left on the clock. And looks like red and blue are neck in neck. Blue Alliance looks like they lost us a, a cube there. And the red Alliance claims ownership over one of those blue goals. As we come to the last 30 seconds, McChicken picks up a red cube, goes up to claim that goal for the red Alliance. One last cube gets added on top for Big Mac on the sky rise of the red Alliance. And we're down to 15 seconds now. All four robots on this Red Alliance corner. Blue Alliance scoring. Red Alliance coming behind. Down to five seconds now, folks. Blue Alliance going to top off their skies rise. Three, two, one, and that's that. I thought that was pretty incredible. Paul, what do you think? I am not standing in the right spot, but I will be in a second. All right, everyone, listen. Those skyrise sections were built entirely in autonomous, and the Red Alliance won by one floor goal. A cube in their Alliance home zone was the difference. How would you like to build a seven-high skyrise section in Auton and lose autonomous? But Q 
QCC came back during teleop and they played awesome during the teleop period. Looks like outscore Cube Autonomous with seven Skyrise sections. Amazing. Both alliances, amazing robots. The days of high school students having a prayer against the college teams are over. That was incredible. I, I want to see the autonomous replay. I don't know what our replay is, but let's take a look at it because that was amazing. Yep, it's the autonomous replay. Remember, everyone, these are all in autonomous. Robots working together to build the Skyrise section with cubes during autonomous. These are not driver-controlled robots. Seven Skyrise sections for blue. Seven Skyrise sections for red. Seven cubes on the Skyrise tower for red and for blue at the last second. Boom. Boom. On what an autonomous match. So, no Jason, one, we have the scores. No one driving. Let's see the score. Wow, 92 to 86. QCC almost came back in that one. I cannot wait to see the next match. That's one nothing. It's not over yet. They're going to have a second match in a bit. So back before we go to the, the VRC High School Final Smash 1, we're going to throw it back to Karthik. All right. Before we start our high school finals, let's take a look at the award winners in both the science and technology divisions. 